Good morning, YouTube. So we marked the one-year anniversary of the death of Mike Brown in Ferguson, Missouri. And how was that one-year anniversary marked? With looting and attempted firing uh, shots fired on a police officer. Two police officers, actually. Uh, multiple shots were fired. The police officers returned fire in the last news report says the suspect was in critical condition. Good for him. He's lucky he's alive. I'm sorry, you, you fire on a police officer. You expect these sort of things. But the news media today is, well, they left this guy in the street while they were waiting for medical attention, blah, 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 blah. That's uh, from what all, pretty much everybody's coming out with. That's really not as true as they're saying. But let's go back to this. It's the one-year anniversary of the shooting of Mike Brown. And what have we what have we had in the meanwhile? You've had Baltimore, and Baltimore did have issues last night. They did have officers that were pelted with rocks. Uh, you've had looting in uh, Baltimore almost went up in flames completely. You've had looting in Ferguson. You've had issues in Oakland and New York City and sporadic places elsewhere. And... So what have you had? You have a movement that is hell-bent on looting, rioting, and is still using the hands-up-don't-shoot mantra, even though that was proven wrong by witnesses. In the Mike Brown case, they're still using it. It's a lie, but what have you got? Uh, over the weekend, you had Bernie Sanders, and a Bernie Sanders event, was interrupted and disrupted and stopped by Black Lives Matter supporters and protesters jumping up on stage and demanding that they speak. Wow, you're really doing a wonderful job. And I don't like Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders is as liberal as it gets and uh, the last person I think should be in the White House. But still, um you would think that there'd be a little more respect there. There isn't. There is no respect from that movement. It's their way or nothing. And look what happened to the former governor of Maryland, O'Malley, when he tried to speak at an event and he dared use the words, all lives matter. They booed him off stage. I think if they wouldn't have taken him out of there, they probably would have taken him out of there uh, was security being pelted by whatever the audience could find to throw at him. It was getting rough. But uh, again, so what have you got? You've got uh, tolerated and allowed and justified robbery, looting, thuggery. Uh, you've had the Confederate flag ripped down from places. And, okay, so it came down from the state house, state house in South Carolina. That should have been a decision by the referendum of the people. That should have been put on a ballot, and every citizen in the state of South Carolina should have been allowed to vote on that. Not politicians, Republican and Democrat, caving into fears of violence and rioting if they didn't get their, if some groups didn't get their way. Now you see that Confederate flag has absolutely disappeared from almost from existence in this country. Uh, and anyone that dares display it is considered a racist. Uh, that's ludicrous. It's terrible. It's it's things that shouldn't be allowed to happen. Now you have President Obama going after this flag, the Gadsden flag, which is an actual American flag. It's part of history, but he is going after it. So what what else have we got? Any year the country has gone right down the tubes as far as race relations, and it's continuing to get worse. Um, what you don't see on the news was an officer from Birmingham, Alabama, pistol whipped, unconscious by a black suspect with a record as long as your arm, and lying in, on the sidewalk, and did anyone help him? No. They ran up, they took pictures, they posted them on Twitter or Twitter and, and Instagram and whatever and Facebook. And the cop deserved it. Cop, what do you want? Ha, 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 here's a cop bleeding on the ground. No one helped him. White cop, black suspect. Imagine if the tables were turned. 
Imagine if that was a black man and the cops had just laid him out, tased him, whatever, and he was just allowed there to bleed. Now some say, well, Mike Brown was what? Mike Brown was dead when he hit the ground. That was a police investigation. That was a homicide investigation. It's called evidence gathering. But, so here we are a year later. And unfortunately, the things I've said over the last few months are coming true. I, I Again, I really, really, really wished I was wrong. Unfortunately, I'm not. And the fact that we have a deteriorating society. Race relations are at an absolute horrible low. I dread what's going to happen when the people of Baltimore don't get what they think they're going to get. They think those cops are all going to go away for murder. They're not. If those cops are either acquitted or something happens, Baltimore, and I guarantee you other cities uh, are going to go up in flames. I don't wish that to happen. I really hope it doesn't. I hope I am wrong. I guarantee you I'm not. So there's, there's where that stands because you have a, a vengeful prosecutor who has obvi an obvious agenda and an obvious vendetta and she will stop at nothing to make sure these cops are put up and tried for political expediency. So there's where that is. So again, I, I hope I'm wrong, but I've got a really bad feeling that I'm not. So were there worse race relations since Ferguson? They've gotten worse, thanks to the president, thanks to his Justice Department, and thanks to little minions like Al Sharpton. And the rest of them uh, that are out there who want nothing more than to see this country torn apart along racial lines. And they want it all on their side. So, uh, what I tell people is, batten down the hatches because it's going to get worse. So, watch what's going on. Watch yourselves. Watch your family. If you live in one of those big cities, I would consider moving. Because it's not going to get any better. So anyway, that's going to end this one for now. Have a good day, YouTube.